Uh, go on the left, uh, like uh, do all the way around because uh, there is a lucky coin uh, in the in the hut that we may need for later. Gotcha. Oh, now I can I can do I can make you do something uh, that is not useful but it's funny. Lunar Rose, thank you for the subscription. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no worries. They don't attack you before you. Oh be, right, before yeah, you become yeah. hostile. And since there is no Darcy, there is no problem. Yeah. Yeah, we, How do you I, pronounce it, by the way? Like, a uh, Darcy, Dars, Dark... Uh... Look, P my, my chat were, like, we constantly going back and forth with that. People were saying it's Darcy, people were saying it's Dark, uh, Dark. <laughs> uh, I, I just call her Casca at this point, because... Casca! Because fucking, I, I could not argue with chat anymore about it. Understandable. Okay, uh, now, uh, can you loot a stone from the minecart you just passed? Okay, can you loot another one? Another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Okay, I made my point. Let's continue. Oh, you just want to show that we can get infinite stones here. Yeah, and the ah. stones are broken in this game. Really? Yeah, because they can stun a body part. Ah, interesting. Oh, actually, I can think of some good uses for that, all right. Um, yeah, like, uh, it's not a Locust Swarm, but it's still kind of useful. In case you don't know, Locust Swarm basically stuns all the body parts of the opponent. Uh, I know that, but unfortunately only through being obliterated by, by uh, Locust Swarm a couple of times. Oh, yeah, from the Yellow uh, Mages, yeah. Um, where are we going now? Now, uh, go all the way to the right, because there is the Cave Dweller Merchant. Uh, oh, we yeah. the Cave Dweller too... Merchant has something useful. She doesn't, because we already have the... All the necessary, but maybe we could buy an explosive vial in the worst case. Let's see. No, don't buy anything. Okay. Not worth it. Not even an explosive vial. Nah, nah. We're we're gonna get a guaranteed explosive vial very soon. Oh, can you talk to the cave dweller on the right? The cave dweller seems to be trying to communicate with you. It's pointing figure and making motions with her mouth. Uh. What? What do you want? Like whatever you want. Yes, I came from the surface. I have never seen this. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh! Oh, my friend! Okay. <laughs> okay, entering the hut uh, on the left here, because uh, there is a guaranteed soul stone in here. Also, be sure to loot all the vases, but uh, you already know that uh, yeah. we're gonna loot everything. By the way, killing that guy is very important because it gives you basically a, a free corpse for a soul stone. Oh, okay. Like, I didn't do it just for the fancy of, uh, aha, it hit the head with a okay, rock. Okay, I, I thought you were trying to break my heart there, because I was like, oh, this this, this person is, wants to hang out, that's cool. <laughs> Imagine getting a party member, which is a cave dweller. Oh, that'd man, cool, that'd uh... be pretty cool. I, I'd like that. Yeah, like, uh, have you ever played the Final Fantasy VI or something? Oh man, I yeah, six is awesome. Um, I I love pretty much all the Final Fantasies up to twelve. Perfect. Like you know, on the terrain in Final Fantasy six, where you can recruit ghosts to fight with you. Yeah, it's fucking cool. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, something similar. Okay, now that we got the soulstone, you can use it on the corpse of the cave dweller, and then we can just uh, go into the hut on the right to get the rope, which allows us to. Uh, later going to the infested mines. Uh -huh, there we what's go. there? No, they're just uh, chilling, they're just chilling in the worries. Uh, oh, I, I always feel so watching. sorry for that little dude. You know what's funny, the dude is in there, uh, in, the, in that exact position, regardless if they are doing that, or if there is the Cave Dweller Massacre, where uh, all the Cave Dwellers die. Wait, it, the Cave Dweller Massacre is you, right? Like, you're the one killing them? No, 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 the Moonless Guards. Oh, you never got that event. Huh? I did oh. once, once like fucking 20 runs ago, I got, I came here and there was a moonless guard who had, oh, he kills all the cave, that's insane, wow. Yeah, <laughs> but the little kid remains alive regardless of the situation, so oh. I guess the staying up there was good. Yeah, okay. Maybe the, the moonless guard cannot climb, okay, go all the way above, it's time to take the uh, cube of the depths. We're consuming a lot of torches. Maybe I should have uh, thought about this, but uh, whatever. We're gonna, we're still gonna get them by having the increase the chances with the vases. Uh, okay, can you loot the vases? Maybe they're gonna give us up before taking the cube of the depths, because uh, after that the the spear guy is gonna try to attack you. Yep. Remember, after you take the cube, rush to the exit, dodging the one with the spear. Okay. Gotcha. Perfect. 
And now we have to do the same with all the other cave dwellers. Even if we fight them, it's not really a problem. I keep the long sword just in case. Yeah, um... Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, go up, up and right and down. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, okay. Are you sure I am the one experienced? I think you are the experienced one. Here. So, the like, I think one of the only things I'm actually, like, truly good at in this game is dodging. Dodging, really? I mean, that's uh, also a quality. Okay, use the rope on the, on the thing right here. How do you even call this structure? Um, I actually, I, I don't... No, I don't think there really is a good name for it. <laughs> okay, join the wolf masks. Easy. Okay, at this point we have level 1 affinity with Sylvian and Kerogaroth. Perfect. So, uh, in this exact moment, you have uh, the... Passages of Mahabra book, correct? Yes. Can you check in the inventory? Okay, perfect. It's time to take the blue scene, then. So now this I have gotten myself before. You did? Ooh, Although, okay. that said, I think I got that from maybe one of your videos? Possibly. I made a video on the blue scene, so Yeah, I, I, think, I, think that's, I think that is where I got it. It is, it is one of the coolest tricks in the game, though. I love it. Perfect, then uh, want to show the audience? Yeah, let's do it. Actually, I'm kind of curious, after making your video on Fear and Hunger, mm -hmm. how much time did you spend uh, watching other content about it or, uh, you know, that kind of stuff? Uh, Very after little. The video? Um, pretty much, the only content I'd watched was, um, I'd seen, um, I think, Ultman TV's video on it. Okay. Um, the RPG that hates you, that one. And yeah, yeah, then I remember that I, one. I think I had watched your dog video, and that was it. The dog video, okay. Yeah, that was the first video I found yours. Uh, generally, when I'm making a video, I try not to watch too many other people's videos because I don't want like their thoughts bouncing around in my head. You know, I wanna, oh, yeah. I wanna try and come to my own conclusions about like how I feel about something. Um, okay, yeah, so, you want the fresh experience, yeah. Okay, so just to refresh uh, this, Frappolo, I. Pull the sword and then immediately use the passage, the passage to Maharabra, right? Uh, okay, so the first time you try to pull it, it's not gonna be pulled out. After that, you need to do it again, and then after you pulled it uh, and you get it, open the inventory. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Open the inventory. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So basically, the passages. Cha, yeah. if if you don't open your inventory, um, you the the cave collapses in on you and die, and that's what's going to happen the second we exit out of inventory. Except we have the passages to Mahabre, and we can get out of there. Yeah. <sighs> also, here there is a funny bug we could use, uh, but I can show you the bug, but I'm not going to make you do it. Okay. Okay. So I actually got this book very early on in like my third or fourth Fear and Hunger run. I had no idea what was happening. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of makes you a little bit uh, confused because wow, what, what is this? <laughs> okay, also, um, in, the, in the door there is going to be a lucky coin and a chest. Fun fact about this chest, if you hit the coin flip correctly, you get a Everwatching Talisman, but we don't really care about it in this run. Okay. Let's see if we get the Everwatch- Oh yes! Uh, Everwatching Talisman, perfect. I'm not sure I've ever gotten that before. That basically negates the phobia. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah, it has uh, one oh. useful application! Go on the left, on the left, on the left, on the left! On the left? On the left! On the left. Oh! And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a forgot to tell you. Okay. That was okay, fucking just... pixel perfect. Okay, where am I going? Okay, down. Uh, do you, uh, go on the left of the vase that you... Uh, double eye glass is perfect. Go on the left of this vase. Uh, of the vase. No, no, no. Above, above, oh, above, oh above, 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 above. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. On yeah. the left. Uh, down. Uh, down. Okay. Don't move. Don't move. No, no, no. Oh, no, don't, oh, no, 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 no. No, uh, uh, you broke the game. <laughs> oh, how badly? How badly? Oh, okay. I see. Let, I see. Okay, let me... You you now are in Mahabre. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, we're, we're in yeah. actual Mahabre now. Yeah, now we are in actual Mahabre. <laughs> okay, listen. Can we get let, back let, with? Let, let. Okay, okay. Oh shit. Oh no. Wait. Uh. 
Okay, no, I mean, okay, nothing is broken, but uh, we skipped a little bit of the game, if that's not a problem with you. That's fine by me. Okay, you should, like, if you traverse the, the screen, you enter officially into Mahabra, so yeah, we are into Mahabra now. Okay, whatever. Uh, we take it, we take it. Since we are here, let's let's pop the blood portals. Okay, cool. Um, which would which would be the best? Oh, so one of the tower, right? Yes, one is on the tower in the present. Absolutely. Oh, and I think uh, now it's the time to show you another fun interaction that uh, I discovered only recently, actually. Oh, really? Once we... Yeah. It's one of the things that for which I, I told you, man, I still have uh, all these hours into the game and I still discover new stuff. Like, okay, when you, told me, when, you, when you told me that happened, I thought it would be like you could pick this item up at frame 60 if you do this. Not that there were full-on like interactions you haven't seen. Oh, there is an interaction that I want to show you now. Maybe maybe you already know it, okay, of we'll course. Okay, we'll uh, see, we'll see. Okay, uh, use the time machine to go into the present. Now... Go on the left side, uh, turn a torch so you can see something. Go on the left side very slowly, very slow. Okay, once you once you hear a sound, stop. Okay, stop. Do you see the scarab is inside of the hole? I okay. do. If you wait long enough, he goes back. Right, And okay. then you can just walk past it. Huh. Ah, uh, be careful because uh, he's, uh, he's peeking again. Okay. Wait. Okay, I think he went away. Okay, I think he's gone. Yeah, you can go. Uh, we have to go into the tower to trigger the blood portal. Okay. You know, also, like, uh, the Scarab is a very easy enemy, so I think a lot of people just uh, one-shot him or something when they see him, and just uh, completely skip these minute details. Yeah. So I find um, it really funny that you can just uh, a a dodge it completely. No, it's fucking cool, but also, he is a really easy enemy. Um, if you miss that one shot, he can derail your one by destroying your weapon. Oh, yeah, 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 that's absolutely true. On the mm -hmm. end of the second turn, he can melt your weapon. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's devastating. Um, yeah. Okay, we could, in theory, go back to the mines now if we wanted, but I'm cool with... If we have if we have cut out a chunk of this game, I say we go with it. Like, to be fair, we didn't cut out a, a huge part of the game. Like, uh, literally, after the after we used the passages, we would have gone to Mahabra from the normal... Oh, fuck it, we're so fine. We yeah, we're fine. Okay. So, uh, go a little bit down the tower again, because we need to go to the other blood portal, and uh, in the door you passed near the scarab, there is uh, a dead body of uh, one of the Knights of Rondon. Okay. And there is the body of Jeanne. Have you ever done a Jeanne quest? No, I only, I, I only encountered her very late into my runs in Fear and Hunger. Yeah, basically, if you enter into Mahabre, and you traverse the part where she's supposed to have the event where the Lord of the Flies uh, uh, drags her. That's she just the one. Dies. That's the one. Yeah. And then I think yeah, so... even later than that, I encountered her like alive. Like I eventually reunited her with her buddies, but like that was so late into my streams, it was crazy. Oh, oh yeah, we, we, we yeah. should equip Blue Sin as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, we're not gonna fight anything for now, but uh, for sure. Also, uh, you can loot from Jean if you interact again. And uh, you could use this. Mm, yeah, you could use the soul stone. Okay. The other important thing: there is a lucky coin on the left, and then we can get the hell out of here. Lucky coin, awesome. Okay. Perfect. What's also up, traversing what's up here? the. Uh, that, that's uh, we're gonna use it later. No okay. worries. That's uh, that's the old passage in case you in case it rings a bell in your head. Old passage. I don't know that I am familiar with that. Uh, to be fair, it's not uh, necessary to go in there for any ending. So okay. maybe you just skipped it in your, in your runs, maybe. I'm okay, go into the past. Go into the past with the time machine because the traveling Mahabre in the past is much, much easier than traveling Mahabre in the present. Oh boy, is it? Yeah, I, I, I know that. Yeah. The Lord of the Flies uh, are a nightmare in some moments, because uh, their element, uh, like, uh, I don't know if you... Oh, actually, now, I think we already talked about this, this on the podcast, but uh, just to precise it, uh, do you know that the defense does not work in this game, right? The defense is a lie. That is... Uh, okay, no, I remember talking about that on the podcast. It's still fucking insane to me. <laughs> yeah, the point is... Uh... All the armors have hidden elemental resistances to attacks, but some attacks don't have an element. For example, the Lord, the Lord of the Flies. So his attacks just deal full damage. So if you can oh. have the best armor in the game, it does nothing. 
Yeah, uh, very careful here, very careful, uh, very careful. Okay, okay. You, okay. Can loot, you can loot everything, but be sure to not go down. Not go down, okay. Because if you go down, uh, there is a tile which uh, disables the chrome molar. And we don't want to disable the chrome molar because we need chrome molar for Ragnavalder's, um we, we need that for his S ending, right? Yeah. Also, pray to the statue. The statue is of uh, Grogoroth. Wait, what? We... Yeah, this is Grogoroth. Huh. If you have N... Yeah. If you... <laughs> if you have Enki in the party when you are here, you can talk to him and he will say this is an, a depiction of Grogoroth. So what happens if you pray to one of the other gods here? Oh, that's uh, very funny because uh, in the statue of Grogoroth and in the statue of Sylvian, if you pray to someone else, uh, not only the accuracy of the other god goes down, but even the one of the god of the, of the statue. For example, if in the statue of Grogoroth you pray to Sylvian, both Grogoroth and Sylvian lose affinity. That's insane! Oh my god, wow, okay. I feel like I'm yeah. saying, like, that's insane or no fucking way a lot in these streams, but I mean, I kind of expected that. Yeah, and, and you know, like, uh, when you do, when you make a marriage, uh, you can uh, fail the marriage. What? Oh, it never happened. Oh, I, I need to show you later this. Basically, no, when I, I, I can't fail another marriage. That's for real life. Okay, where, where are we going from here? All right, from here, it's just a straightforward. Like, uh, it's a corridor in this moment. Oh, be sure to loot, the, uh, use a torch, because there are some bookshelves, uh, which can give you useful stuff like um, empty scrolls. Oh, and these you can use, uh, you can use lucky coins, by cool. the way. Scroll of thievery. Yes, that's good. Okay, L lure them away how you only can do. Perfect. They are very slow, so passing uh, around them should be easy. Um, one of the coolest enemy designs in the whole thing, I think. The mankin. Yeah. Oh. I oh, god damn it! <laughs> I, I agree, actually, even though there are some designs that I prefer. For example, uh, in my opinion, the best design in the game is Grogoroth. Oh, down. Grogoroth is amazing, yeah. Um, I yeah, think like... my favorite might be Sylvian. I just think, like, it's so overwhelming and so much, like, bigger and more frightening than any other enemy you've seen. I, I think it's, it's just, it's so fucking cool looking. Yeah, I see what you mean. Like, uh, on some parts I can actually agree. Also because the mixture of a skeleton plus, uh, you know, tentacles. Oh, there is a vendor up here we can talk uh, We can talk to. How many silver coins do you have? Uh, I think quite a few. Okay, we're gonna see how many. There is. Oh, 99, perfect. Buy three soul stones. So we can just uh, travel along the dungeon without problems. Because, uh, you know, if you get more than 99 silver coins, the coins are just wasted. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, it's better so to are you doing this because we coins. need soul stones or because that's three? We I need think. the soul stones, we need okay. the soul stones. And, and uh, for, the, for the rest, you can buy one elixir of body, maybe. Yeah, one elixir of body. Just for the worst case scenario. Gotcha. Perfect, then loot everything and you're gonna be good. There we go. Also, that uh, that merchant is a scammer because he, he sells he says you that uh, he sells uh, purifying talisman for five silver coins, uh, but after the first time you talk to him, that's false uh, because uh, he will actually cost ten silver coins. Ha! <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, that is still the least uh, uh, that uh, anyone has scammed me in this game. Um, the least. Oh yeah, there is the merchant scammer in front of the dungeon. Yeah, also, yeah, he fucked me so many times, and because I am so dumb, I fell for it like for ages. Pause, 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 pause. Okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry, but uh, this is important. Okay, the harvest man here, you cannot guard his coin flip attack. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh no. Um. Okay, I don't like that. Okay, listen. Uh, Russia, Russia, up and the left. When you can, left immediately. Left, left, left. Okay. Sorry, I was, I was, uh, I was worried you were gonna spend too much time uh, out there, and uh, he was just gonna run at you. Okay, perfect. Sometimes uh, his uh, hitbox bugs, uh, and he's able to literally uh, start a fight with you even when you are like six tiles. Oh uh, shit! Apart from no him. way. Okay, we are in the grand library now, which is the most important part of the game. Terry's is getting a hold of you. How much? How much mind do you have? Oh, 50, okay. Uh, will I, I eat some food? Some... Nah, for now we're good, for now okay. we're good. Yeah, a lot of people get very scared when the food bar goes uh, very... It's, uh, it's, goes it's just, it's pressure, early. you know, it's... Yeah. Okay, you can use a torch. And now we start to loot the, the bookshelves. So this is a coin free bookshelf. You can use all the lucky coins. We preserved the lucky coins for this situation. Empty scroll! There we go. Uh, 
Um, okay, so, Frappolo, one thing you should know about me, it's very loud in here, I'm gonna go outside. One thing you should know about me, I'm pretty dyslexic, and the empty scrolls have, uh, proved challenging for me in the past. Okay, can you do me a favor in that case? Yep. Go to the control menu. Okay, uh, keyboard config. Uh, can you disable the spacebar, please? Oh my god, that that is the thing that fucked me so many times. <laughs> um, so, uh... uh... Clear, clear. Perfect. Okay. Alright, now you should have an easier time with the empty. Uh, Frap, I can't believe you cured my dyslexia. <laughs> Incredible. Let's see. Let's see if that really works. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, the, what you have to write is O space Lord. So, O space Lord. Yes, perfect. Let's go to the next one. Uh, confirm with enter. Okay. Just to be sure. Um, give. That's all yes. good? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, white Angel. Oh, I love the White Angel. That's fantastic. See, that, right? that, that always fucks me up because it looks like there's a space, even though I know there's not. But it looks like it. <laughs> yeah, understandable. That messes that messes up a lot of people. Also, like if you put a space after you wrote the word, it also. Yeah, I've count done like that it. as well. I've done that as well. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Oh Lord, give white angel. Yeah, I'm cured. I'm cured. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, you can just keep it. Now we cannot die anymore. Really. Okay, let me explain. From the normal enemies, we cannot die anymore, because with 20 agility, you can escape from all the battles. Right, okay. Perfect. Okay. So now you can go in... back in the Grand Library, and you don't have to care about anyone. So it He's doesn't, it doesn't matter if we run into... Do we still need to find another scroll? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, the more scrolls, the better. Okay, gotcha. Oh, you know what? Let's do the puzzle. Okay, um, I am gonna tell you how to do the puzzle. Okay, pause the game for a second. I am gonna tell you how to do the puzzle, okay? I want to know if you understand what I mean. Okay. okay. Uh, strangle, meditation, Giga Chad, Giga Chad, whatever. Okay, I think I get you, so... Let's go. <laughs> Let's try. Strangle, 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 strangle. Is this strangle? This is Strangle, yes. Strangle, meditation. Meditation. Me meditation. Giga Chad. This is Giga Chad? This is Giga Chad. See, to me, I always think of this one as Journo from Part 5 JoJo. Oh, I didn't watch that actually. I'm stuck at the, part, uh, at the end of Part 3 for now. Uh, you gotta get to Part 4. Par part 4 rules. Yeah, like, you know, I kind of started part 4, but by that time I was already burned out by, you know, the infinite fillers of uh, part 3. Because, like, yeah, the, the, some battles were cool, but some others were a little bit unbearable. Oh, nice, like, empty scroll. Were... Yes, that's fantastic. Sorry, you were saying? But, you know, uh, you know, the battle with the sun, for example. I yeah, didn't not, digest it. But... Not my favorite. Um, I love part 3, but I think part 3 is very much Araki trying to figure shit out. And it's only really in part four that I think he ma starts putting it all together in really interesting ways. Um, hmm. Okay. Do, uh, you, do you want to... In... Well, and what about our hunger? Uh, nah, we're still fine. We're still okay. fine. We don't. We are not going to fight Valtail. We are just here to loot stuff. Okay. Hello, Valtail. Later, dude. <laughs> So, in this zone, there is one soul stone and one bookshelf coin flip. Um, That's what we care about. Someone is saying, don't think I forgot what you said about Jojo in your stream, Frappolo. Frappolo, is there anything you want to confess to here? Any sins that you yeah, may have that I, that, that, that I think the first series of Jojo is a terrible. Okay. Um, is well, listen, favorite. Frapp, it has been so great having you here, and I really appreciate you dropping by the stream. Uh, do you want any shout outs or anything? Or are you good? Uh, what do you yeah, want? I want a shout out to Jojo. 
<laughs> listen, listen. I, I am a... Uh, like, let, let's say, it's not that it's bad, but uh, I think it's one of those... Uh, I call them uh, bathroom anime, like one of those anime where you don't need your brain. You just uh, turn your brain off uh, and you just uh, like uh, roll with it. I will say that I think part one is much like part three. It's Araki trying to figure shit out and it's clumsy. I find it extremely charming. Um, if we keep going down, we're going to fight him, right? Yeah, we don't We don't go down now. We go okay. back. We go all the way back. <laughs> Yeah, I see what you mean, I see what you mean. Maybe it's because also I don't have a lot of attachment to Araki, like, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, be clear. I, th I I saw some of the drawings because my brother is really into Araki, like, uh, he has a lot of stuff from Araki. But, uh, the, I, I watched the anime, I didn't read the manga or something. Yeah. And, uh, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't grow really attached to the characters, I mean, my favorite character is, uh, uh, how is it called, Paul Nareff, I think. Interesting, okay. I love Paul Nareff, but apart from that, uh, like, uh, all the other characters are kind of... I didn't get too much attached to them. But still... No, uh, now, like, I think what's really interesting about, like, Jotaro actually only comes into it in later series as he kind of returns and, like, sort of evolves as a character. Oh, yeah, I saw he's also in part four, like, dressed as a white uh, marine boy or something. Yeah. <laughs> he's a marine biologist for some reason. <laughs> um... Yeah, okay, now go to the upper floor. There is the the staircase. There are more uh, bookshelves uh, on the... Yeah, it's exactly down here. There are more bookshelves with a coin flip you can, uh, you can loot. And uh, ignore those uh, those kids down there. We don't care about them for now. I, I try and Later, maybe there is children. something I'm going to show you. Oh, I, 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 I need to get used to enter being the confirmed key. You can use a Z if you want. Z is good. I always use the Z because uh, I grew with uh, like, uh, you know, uh, how are they called? Uh, I don't remember the name, whatever. Like uh, Undertale, Omori, any of those games, I always use the Z. Ah, uh, right, right. I I've never beaten Omori and I really need to. You n why didn't you beat him? Like, um, uh, I, I wasn't like super taken with it. Like I thought it was cool, but I wasn't like, um, I wasn't like, in love with it, I think, in the way a lot of people were. Yeah, understandable. Like, uh, Omori kind of becomes a little bit slow in some parts, uh, which may cause that. Uh, yeah, we don't care about Even if we enter into a battle, uh, you can just escape, remember? So we're fine. But then, uh, I, would, then, I, then, I, then I wouldn't be the Juke Master. That's the final game of Juke Master. Yeah, title. yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, here you can loot the, the vials on the table, and if you're lucky, we're gonna get something interesting. Oh, by the way, for everyone here that maybe it's the first time that sees here in Hunger, you may say, it's been uh, one hour, one hour and a half, and we still didn't fight a single enemy! The, the reason is we are preparing. Have we really not fought anyone? We fought Torturer. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah, yeah, the, the incredible Torturer. <laughs> and what a dramatic <laughs> battle that was. Okay, I think uh, the preparations are basically over. Now, going to the present, uh, like uh, exit from the temple. Uh, this way? Yes. Uh, all right, going to the present. There we go. Okay, back up the staircase. Yes, yes. Back up the staircase and then... You know, it's so weird. I'm so used to play challenge rounds that now I kind of feel... Uh... Uh, scared of playing a normal run uh, because I am scared I will miss some stuff that is re very relevant. Okay, uh, pop the blood portal. Uh, so, I want to show you a funny thing. You go on the left, uh, like you go on the left uh, corridor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. Go on the other part. Okay, can you uh, go near the door? So here? Okay. Yeah, a little bit closer. Go down. Go right. Wait, okay, I'm in the past again? Yeah, the developer for Gore about one tile, oh, I think. Oh, weird. Okay, cool. Okay, now, since we're in the past, go back to the time machine. We are not going to use the time machine, I just want you to go to the time machine. We're almost there, eh? We're almost uh, ready to fight all the bosses. Okay, so fighting all the bosses is a part of this run. Yes. Oh, you oh, you don't know the requirements for Ragnavaldar as ending, right? Um, well, I I think I do now. <laughs> Perfect. Sorry for the spoiler. <laughs> so, enter into this door right here. There is yeah. a one bookshelf and I think a chest. So that's kind of nice. 
So yeah, for Ragnavaldor's ending, in case you didn't know, we need to get the, the boss souls of almost all the bosses. So, so actually, all the bosses. So the bosses, Crow Mauler, um, Flame Golem, uh, Snake, thing, uh, skin, Salmon Snake, uh, Dick Ghost, um, uh, and, and who else? Who is Dick Ghost? It's, Wait, the go that's... it's the ghost when the armor falls off him, you see his dick. Oh no, that, that's not a boss. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. That's not a boss. Dick Ghost isn't a ghost. Okay. Got it, okay. Go on the right, because you know, and then go down. You know, yeah? I'm, I'm pretty sure his canonical name is Dick Ghost. I, I will have to look that up, but... Hmm. No, you know what? Maybe you are right, actually. Maybe I just <laughs> forgot about it. Um, sorry, where are we going? Uh, down. Down. Uh, someone in the chat just said, uh, Richard Ghost. Richard Ghost. All right, go above, into the door above you, because uh, it's time to trigger the husk. All the preparations are basically over. The husk is the last important thing, then we can start with necromancy and whatever. Cool. Yeah, it's lagging a little bit also. <laughs> yeah, this, the, like, I, I played a lot of this game on Steam Deck originally, and it... On Steam Deck? No! Yeah, this, this, part, this part is actually really fucking bad here as well. Oh my god. Um... <laughs> open the menu, open and close the menu. Oh! Okay. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, go into the present with the time machine. Yeah, this zone and the one near Sylvian have a terrible frame rate. Okay, go. Oh God! Ah oh, no! Oh, oh, whatever. I mean, we could fight him or just escape, but you can just go all the way around. Yeah. From here, it's just a straight road uh, down to the to the point which you can oh, jump yeah. to reach the laboratory. Yeah, you can jump down easy. There we go. Ah. That is low-key one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. The tracks, you mean the soundtrack? Or, yeah. Uh... Uh, yeah, agree. It's kind of cool. Do we want to go up or do we want to no, go No, 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 no. We go, we go on the left. There is cool. the... We have to trigger the husk. And we have to pass through the Temple of Torment because there are a couple of things we, we can take. Like, there are two soul stones. There is uh, one bookshelf. And a chest. Gotcha. Um, it's it's one of my favorite songs. I kind of talked about it in the video just because of how it relates to the um, first song as well. Like, making it feel sort of far away and fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. You have to interact with the with the machine. The ma the, yeah, this one, this one. Perfect. Okay. Actually, my favorite track overall of Fear and Hunger 1, I think, is, of, of course, uh, Pulse and Anxiety. I mean, like, you know, that's the, the e iconic track, right? Like, oh, it's so good. And even Perudo to Darkness, which is basically the ending theme. Mm. I kind of like the guitar in that. Oh, it's beautiful. It's really, really nice. Yeah. Um, okay, Fra I know that the Hunger is, ready... is driving us mad. Uh, we're, we're fine. Mm. <laughs> we're fine, okay. Pop another torch and let's go on the left. You know, the reason for which I'm making you wait so long... Actually, okay, no, you know what, let's eat. Okay. The reason I'm waiting, I'm making you wait for so long is because I wanted to show you that uh, we are fine. Like, uh, even with hunger at uh, 80, we're... No, actually, I wanted you to use something else, but whatever. Uh, but uh, do you see, like, uh, we are not fighting anything. We have a way to escape from all the battles. I get you, uh, I get you. So, like, literally, the hunger isn't going to do anything bad for us for a while. Yeah, it's just a, a noob trap, let's say. Like, when you are new to the game and you don't know how does hunger work, you kind of start to think that if, if the hunger is not always at the minimum amount, you risk of dying mm. or something. Okay, perfect. Now that you are uh, kind of healed, we can continue, I guess. Also, now that I think about it, uh, you played the, all the endings of Termina, right? No, just, just the one. Just the um, one where... Oh, how do I describe it without spoilers? Not the festival one. I did not murder everyone. Oh, okay, I know which one you did. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, then maybe eh, there, there's gonna be something interesting later, maybe. So, okay. uh, like, my feeling with Termina, Termina rules. Like, it's a really, really interesting expansion on, um, on, on Fear and Hunger, but I also felt like, obviously, it's still kind of a work in progress. Oh, do, do you know how to deal with it? No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Not like that, no. I guess. No, a talk. Talk? Yes, uh, we can have a discussion with him. The discussion is a step on the spider. Jesus Christ, okay. That, <laughs> wow. Uh, Do we have a white fly? Yeah, fortunately, one Jesus. white fly. <laughs> oh, that, that, that could have been embarrassing. 
like to be fair, even in the worst case scenario, that's not a problem. But uh, again, being very used to challenge rounds, that poison really was hurting my soul. Okay. Oh god damn it. Oh yeah, whatever. We can have a discussion with this one as well. How do you feel about spiders in real life, Frap? I hate spiders. Yeah, no, like, I, I cannot stand them. Awful, awful creatures. Ah, ah you have no idea. Like, uh, if I, if I, if there is a sp one time there was a spider on my bed as I was waking up, I screamed so badly that uh, my neighbors uh, like uh, uh, ringed on the door because they wanted to be sure. Oh bad was no! Happening. Oh Jesus! Okay. <laughs> um. Okay, we, we you took uh, kind of everything important inside of here. We can okay. just leave. Like, there is another chest, but uh, who cares? Uh, you yeah. can just uh, go down from the way you just... Well, whatever. At this point, it's fa <laughs> At this point, it's faster to just go back through here, I think. Okay, cool. What are your phobias, uh, IRL, by the way? Um, oh, Jesus Christ, he scared me. <laughs> That's a phobia. Um, okay, spiders has been always been, like, the eternal one. I, I, I don't like spiders at all. Uh, spiders and, uh, I don't know, failure? Is that one? I don't know. Um, you fear of failing, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't like, I, I, I worry about that a lot. Uh, that's pretty much it. Like, I, I don't, I'm not scared of a whole bunch. I did not know the soul stone was here. I'm not scared of a whole bunch, honestly. What about you? Uh, like, uh, how someone is already saying in the chat, I hate the ocean. Like, I have a lot of thalassophobia. I think the ocean is beautiful and very scary also. I wouldn't say I have a phobia, but I respect it. Um, where are we yeah, going like, now? Uh, um, use the blood portal in the Grand Library to go to the first level. It's time to take some skills, to kick some ass, etc. Easy. Um, that White Angel only comes down once you've beaten the Tormented Soul, is that the case? Uh, yes, uh, Chamber it is. Right. Yeah. Oh, so, um, by the way, yeah, I agree. The ocean is very beautiful, but I prefer to stay here while other people explore it. Like, I, I'm not gonna... I, I... Oh, have you ever seen yeah. those diagrams of how deep the ocean actually is? Uh, like I saw some, uh, some, uh, you know, those uh, video, th those video memes of uh, like uh, different depths of ocean, and then there are some uh, very scary creatures down there or something. Yeah, I saw those. So the one that really fucked me up was basically like there's this diagram, and it's showing basically the distance from the like basically the fucking I don't know what it is like the Earth's atmosphere, like the sky, basically. And then yeah. it goes down into the ocean. And it's like, it's very deep, obviously. And the bottom of that is like the bottom of like how far we've explored the ocean. But then the ocean mm. goes down another level again. And then another level again. And then another level again. That <laughs> is how fucking deep the depths of the ocean are. I'm getting chills just by you yeah, saying it's, this. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's nightmare stuff. But I mean, that's the reason for which I love the playing stuff like Subnautica, for example. Because I, I, I have wanted to give that a shot for years, and I just haven't. You never played Sub... Oh, uh, for... Going to the present, first of all, uh, okay. like uh, with the time machine, because we have to use the blood portal. You never played the Subnautica? Never played it, no. Oh, so you can experience uh, the blind run of Subnautica. You should play it on stream, buddy. Really? Yeah, okay, I that, think that, that could be fun. Stuff. That could be fun. Definitely, that, that game deserves uh, a stream, in my opinion. You're gonna have so much fun with it. And uh, very recently, I'm also watching a lot of videos about, you know, those uh, cave, uh, uh, under, like, water cave divers uh, uh, gone wrong. Oh you know, my god, kind of... okay. That shit I couldn't watch. Sorry, I think I'm after going the wrong way. Uh, the, you uh, you uh, couldn't that... watch. What? Oh, yeah, like, like, okay, I'm not claustrophobic. Like, I don't get freaked out in small spaces. Um, where are we going? Uh, level one, level one. Actually, before going, pray to Grogoroth in this circle. Okay. Grogoroth, okay. That's number two, because we already prayed to the statue. So now go to the Tower of the Endless uh, from here. Uh, where, yeah. Pray to Grogoroth even here. Oh, that, that feels like, that feels like such a, such a cheat even just to be able to do that. Like the, I had the way I have come to understand this game. I feel like I should be arrested <laughs> for what just happened. <laughs> there we go. Now, uh, Gavokavoth is at level two, which means we can get uh, necromancy. Let's nice. go to level one. Okay. We should have enough lesser souls for that. Uh, and later I'm also going to make you get some useful stuff. Oh, by the way, uh, we could kill... We could kill Isaiah right now. I, I'm happy that I fucking hate this dude. 
Yeah. You you hate him, right? Why? Yeah. Uh, actually, no, he's not the guy who scams me, right? Uh, no, the guy who scams you is uh, outside of the dungeon. But uh, still, we're gonna kill it very soon. First, How we're gonna we get the, the skeleton blue vault. Oh, because we're not fighting anyone. Yeah, <laughs> there is no reason to fight someone if you're just gonna lose stuff. Let's go to the to the hexen for now. Okay. We we get the. Oh, by the way, you should have gotten uh, the scroll of the black arts. Uh, I did. If I remember yep. correctly. Perfect. That's uh, that teaches black orb. Oh, nice. Okay. Um. We got into a situation in one of my runs where Moonless learned Black Orb and was just occasionally one-shotting enemies and it was the fucking <laughs> coolest thing. Okay, uh, yeah. so... Uh, you, get the, you get the Blood the Golem, uh, yeah. Bl I mean, and, bl uh, yeah. And you get the Necromancy. Nice. Uh, blood Golem's really useful. I, I, I love Blood Golem. Everyone, uh, all my homies love Blood Golem. Uh, actually. <laughs> like, uh, he is just uh, so good at his job. Okay. And then scroll of the black arts as well. Uh, yeah, you can use it. You can get black orb on you, so we don't even need to use Alistair Soul for it. Now, the re the first skeleton we are gonna take. Actually, before no, whatever. Uh, go to the basement. You know, outside of here there is a well. Jump into the well. Perfect. On the right side of the of this room there is gonna be a skeleton which you can take. Remember on a skeleton before, um, when I was like making my video for this, I got 12 bad coin flips in a row when trying to revive the skeleton. And I, it was fucking insane. And I really wanted to use that section to demonstrate how much the game does not give a fuck about you. And I, I could not find the footage of it. And I was so annoyed because it would have been such a funny segment. You know, recently something similar happened to me. You know the Yellow King, the yeah. fight with the Yellow King? So basically, uh, he has a 50% chance to summon an Asterisk or 50% chance to use Black Orb, okay? I was doing the guaranteed stuff only run, eh? Uh, he did eight times in a row summon Asterisk, therefore giving me the win. Jesus Christ, so you were able to just body him completely. <laughs> yeah, like, I was so happy in that moment. Okay, uh, you can uh, go ahead and uh, use necromancy on the skeleton. Even if we fail, that's not really a problem. But we are not gonna fail. There we go! There we go. Oh, we've actually been pretty lucky with coin flips this run. Yeah, kinda, yeah. Like, uh, it's uh, it's more than an average run, let's see. Um, let, 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 let's call him Frap. <laughs> Frap, there we go! It's, 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 the game. it's me and no, you. Oh no! Oh no! I press Z! I press Z and I ruined a beautiful moment! Okay. That's so, even see, better. This, this is this is what it is, Frap. It's me and you in the dungeon trying to survive <laughs> as best we can. Perfect. Okay. Uh, give me some equip. Give me some equipment at least if we really need to survive in here. Uh, give me a meat cleaver or something. Yeah, I think that's fine. Just be sure to never press optimize because if you have the ring of the steel blood, there is a chance I just get that one equipped. Yes, I have destroyed enough runs by doing that to know hey. not to do that. Hey, give me an accessory, buddy. I, I will, I will. I was just, I was just... Oh, you're just uh, changing some other stuff. Uh, give me arm guards. I don't want my arms to be destroyed, if you allow me. All right, so, um, now let's go to the second skeleton. Oh, we're, we never went to the level 7 base. Actually, okay, let's go to Mahabre. Okay. To take the second skeleton. Uh, okay. A blood portal, blood portal. So the best way to get to a blood portal from here is... Uh, just to climb uh, up from the well. Wait, uh, like, wait. I didn't think we could climb up from the well. God fucking damn it. <laughs> oh, whiskey jar is the subscription. The body's in there. Why wouldn't we be able to climb up? Okay, because it's not, it's not be nice to do that. You know, you'll climb on dead bodies, okay? <laughs> I mean, what the a, fuck, oh, God? <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, leave it there. Just enter it. Just go. You know what? Go above. So we were said it. Okay. I didn't know you were uh, uh, so brave. Actually, fight his Aya now. We should have. Uh, we should be strong enough for him. You think just we to can like fight the head? Okay. Try attack him immediately. Boom. There we go. Yeah, his sprite is pretty fucking cool, isn't it? Yeah, I'm making a theory video about him, because uh, I think there, uh, use Black Orb on the head, it's the easiest way. There is much more to, to say about him that I want to talk about, in my opinion. 
Nice. There we go. Okay, loot him to get the... Uh, be careful to not devour. Okay. Iron mask and orange right. vial. Perfect. Now, I reach the broad portal and go to the grand library. Easy. Very soon uh, we can fight the car We could fight the Caramola right now if you want. Do you want mm, to get rid of him forever? I mean, yes, but also, okay. will we definitely beat him now? Listen, this is a jolly cooperation moment. Uh, it's me and you. Okay, we okay. The, yeah. uh, no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Keep, <laughs> keep the iron mask before doing that. Because that protects okay. our eyes, right? That protects you against the uh, flock of crows. Which yeah, which is like such blind a otherwise. bastard of an attack. So, uh, the plan is very simple. Uh, he can use Peck, regardless of your Iron Mask. You have, when you start the fight, use a red vial on his head. You should have a red vial, yes, correct? Yes, yes. Uh, I, I think so? Yeah, I think, yeah, there it is. Three red vials. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Perfect, then let's get it over with the first boss of the dungeon. I'm nervous. Frap, I'm nervous. I, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm what, what, I'm what, if, what, if what if the red vial misses? What if the red vial misses? It cannot miss. It's oh. guaranteed to not miss. Some items are just straight up guaranteed to never miss. Okay, and... Is he definitely... Okay. <laughs> okay. It's over. Now. Uh... What else do we- Oh, you can use the Blood Golem now that I think I- Just summon the Blood Golem. Why not? Your choice. Do you want to first destroy the mole and then go for the torso? Or do we just immediately go for the torso? Uh, maybe destroy the mole first. Okay, I go for the mole. I think in two attacks we should be able to destroy it. In two of uh, yours attacks, of course, not uh, the others. Perfect. Oh no, the Blood Golem got broken bones. Oh. No. It's over. The run is over. End the stream now. For a second there, I was like, oh man, we're not critting with the blue stinger at all. It's the western sword that does that, right? That just crits, like, all the time. You know, it's so funny you just said western sword when it actually is the eastern sword. Eastern sword, god <laughs> damn it! Dyslexia, frap, it's got me. <laughs> I want in Termina the western sword now. They need to add it as a weapon. <laughs> oh, frap, you're getting, you're getting covered in, covered in spooky, cr spooky crows. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Uh, I got this. Okay. There we go. Use a soul stone on him. All right. The first soul that we needed. The crow motors. I mean, we already have the white angel soul, but we're going to kill the white angel regardless. Okay. Also, loot from him. You can get the crow emblem key. Oh, of course. Yeah. There we go. Okay. We could go and take the miasmar immediately if you want. So how does, the, how does that work without having um, Lagarde on our team? Basically, Legard and the Skeletons have no drawbacks from the Miasma, but uh, let me uh, destroy, uh, let me dismantle a, me uh, a problem. Okay. The Miasma, the, the Miasma mind management is not so fundamental. Like, uh, come on, you are going to be able to manage it, even if you, even if uh, the Skeleton doesn't have it. But still, right. we have a Skeleton. I am going to keep the Miasma. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so the best way to get that would now be to jump down the well and get it from there? Yes, jump okay. down the well and go on the left. Impossible. Oh, oh, there is a Maneba. Whatever, oh, just goddamn. Like the... You know, fun fact, in the demo, the Maneba has seven tentacles that can attack. Oh, Christ, okay. Yeah, yeah that's very I can see why that might have uh, might have been difficult. Oh, goddamn, I'm getting witch sucked. Oh, uh, whatever, whatever. Don't, uh, don't kill the witch here. Leave immediately. Leave immediately. Okay. Uh, torch, torch, torch! W only one, only one. We can make so many fucking torches, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, do only one for the reason I explained to you before. And now rush, rush! Because if we kill the black witch here, it's Jover. No witch! No! No, I okay. say! That's the first time. You can also loot the crates. Uh, I got oh, scared, I got too scared for a... Yeah, understandable. She attacks you uh, at the end of the third time in which she does the animation. Um, okay. Okay, and the door is on the left. Up here. Yes. There we go. Come and find me. Let the blood flow. When I realized that I had to kill the crow mauler to get through that door, I nearly shit myself my first time through this game. 
<laughs> Understandable. Because, like, the Chromewaller seems impossible until he's not. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, I think the Chromewaller represents the dungeon itself, like, uh, the whole experience. It first seems uh, unsurmountable, but after you realize how to do it, it's uh, just uh, a game of knowledge. It re like, I really do consider this game, like, a series of knowledge checks. Um, okay, where's our next destination? Okay. Now, let's go to the Grand Library, because we have to take another skeleton. So the Grand and... Library, and the best way to that would be back up the well and then to the... Yes. Okay. Um... But I want to show you the Jesus loop very soon. The Jesus loop, did you say? Yes, I did say exactly that. So, go on the Grand Library. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes Whatever, I mean, so... are you really scared of this? No, definitely not. But I'm going to run like a coward. No! If you failed the run, you risk of losing an arm. Oh! Uh, well, Remember never mind, so... <laughs> I, I, I like how I took a perfectly safe situation and turned it into the most dangerous <laughs> possible situation. Uh, Whatever, we're fine. We, we take those, we take those. Good, okay, from here you have to go... You remember in the back alleys near the secret laboratory? Mm. Uh, go down from here, go down okay. from here. I'm gonna guide you all the way. Okay, go back into the past also because it's uh, easier to travel. No, no, uh, down oh, here there's another time machine. Go back into... Uh, down here, down here. Oh, down here? Yeah, there is another time machine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Which you will use to go back into the past. <laughs> Good. Okay, all the way right and then down. And we're gonna be back in the back alleys. Gotcha. Don't be... Don't be... Don't be scared because very soon we're gonna start to kill all the bosses very, very quickly. And, okay, uh, okay. Uh, above, 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 above. But uh, I have to tell you something, okay? Normally, especially because considering like... Okay, I am here that I'm guiding you. Normally the bosses uh, are uh, doable. Go back into the present uh, now. Up here, up here. Normally the bosses are kinda doable, uh, easily enough, okay? But... Uh, Yomarda, thank careful. you for the subscription. Okay, so normally the bosses are fine and you're telling me to... Oh, fuck that guy. Uh, yeah, but uh, normally even if a skeleton dies or something during boss fights, uh, it's fine. You can, you can fight him, uh, you should have enough damage. But, uh, but I'm the Duke King. <laughs> it's uh, it's on the right, like, uh, uh, it's, uh, near, it's on the right of the time machine, though, that we have to go. Oh, god damn it! Okay. There... <laughs> Ah! What, I want to tell you, what I want to tell you is be sure to not lose any party members right now. And there is a precise reason for which I'm telling you that. Uh, oh, oh! Uh, um, uh, black Orb, Black Orb, Black Orb. This, uh, this guy takes a little bit more damage from uh, otherworldly damage like Black Orb. And then the Miasma of Frappolo should finish the job. There we go. Whew. Okay, can you uh, heal your mind a little bit because it's almost uh, to, to zero and uh, even though you don't care about panphobia, I don't want you get, to get panphobia for later. Okay, now go on the right in the door, there is gonna be our next skeleton. Okay. Yeah, for some reason the, the developer forgot to reboot the sprite down there. Okay, so for this skeleton I'm gonna call him Foxcade, who is the editor of these streams. Um, oh, hello, yeah. Foxcade. I, you don't need to say hi to him. Uh, Foxcade is just a really sad little person um, who really kind of does everything they can to, to make me miserable. Um, I'm only really naming the uh, this skeleton after Foxcade because I just, I guess, want to shine like a little ray of hope into his sad little life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> part, like part of the reason that I that I that I have him edit these streams is because I like to I, I like to exert some control over him because he's like that's the way I can keep him in front of me and keep him busy and keep him from doing the awful things he would do if he were not part of this. I can imagine a live reaction of Cop Foxcade watching this bit of the stream. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Fuck him. Anyway, so what's uh, what's the next <laughs> thing we do? Uh, keep the Foxcade, and then we take the last skeleton, and then we start kicking bosses. Okay, is the last skeleton in the... It's the zone that's like the exit to the undergrowth area that's in the Lagarde prison area. Is that... Do I have that right? 
Ah, uh, sorry, I, I I didn't understand. Uh, yeah, it's near the guard. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, that, that's that's near... the place. Uh... Yeah, sorry, I got confused for a second. Uh, go back to the to the time machine to go to travel into the past. Never travel Mahabra into the present. Um, that's down the here. The time machine. Wait, where, 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 where? I, 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 I it, it's gone. I can't remember. <laughs> above, 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 okay. above. No worries, I'm gonna guide you. No worries. <laughs> I have I have a terrible sense of direction. It makes these streams very painful for people. Oh, there is another thing I want you to notice, by the way. Can you st after you travel to the past? Uh, mm -hmm. Can you stand still after you do that? Uh? Okay. Okay. Open your inventory. Six mind on Ragnavalder. Okay. 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 Close the menu. Really? Close the menu. Yeah. Close the menu. Okay, so how's your day, Wolf? Tell me. Uh, I spent a recent amount of it worrying that my Fear and Hunger character is going to go insane and that it's going to destroy this two-hour run. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, I'm going to dismantle another myth. If you reach zero mind, you don't die. Like, you cannot die of a heart attack or something in case you fought uh, something similar. Because I know a lot of people are uh, spreading this myth that if you are low on mind, you just die of a heart attack or something. Okay. Okay, can you open the menu again? Nine mind. Yeah, this zone automatically regens mind. What the fuck? It, because it's bright, <laughs> I guess, right? Uh, no, only this one. Like, uh, on, like if you go into the temp, into the, the the zone near the Grand Library, you don't regen mind. Right, Here because you do. Because you're out in the sunlight and it's nice and it feels that's insane. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I wanted just to show these, but uh, we are not going to so stay cool. here until that, it's cool. That was such a good magic trick. You got me. You got me there. I was like, <laughs> no, no, I don't. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> oh, you thought I was going to make you reach panphobia. That's what I thought you were doing. Yeah. Bro, I'm not trying to sabotage the stream. Okay, yeah. uh, now, now use items to restore your mind because we are not going to stay here yeah, until yeah, yeah. the mind. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, um, the best way to... Grand Library. Okay, before going up here, actually, go down a little bit. Um, we never went through the door uh, in the room with the columns. So down even more, down even more. Uh, go back to where you came from, basically. There is another door we're gonna go through now to get another thing. All the way right. All the way All to the, the right. Oops. Yeah, we don't really care about the Pit of Enlightenment in this run. Also, there is another funny bug I may show you very soon, which is technically gonna make you skip an enemy, but it's a very easy enemy. Okay. Um... Do you do you agree in me showing you that? Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. Okay, so uh, t uh, pull the lever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now go uh, exactly go through that through the door. Now in this zone you can go into the present uh, with the time machine that is above you. Okay, um, it's time to use the map number one. The... Do you have you ever used the map? I no, I haven't actually. Do you want to try to figure them out on your own, or do I tell you the answer? Um, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say you tell me. Cause, <laughs> so the what the fuck is this? So basically, the idea is, uh, you understand from the pig that this zone is this one. Okay. And that there are three vases uh, with uh, an empty spot between them, and uh, you travel six steps from that, and there is gonna be the treasure. So, uh, can you close the map? So okay, that... go go no above 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 above. Okay, on the right uh, I see one, two, three vases. Right. Okay, go six steps down. One, two, three, four, five. Huh? Here we are. Yeah, it's a uh, six because one is bro is a uh, um, stuck by the barrel. So I think we got a raid. You found the scroll like... of walking on water and scroll of transmutate. Wow! <laughs> um, All right. This okay. So just can I up. can I just say real quick that um yeah uh whoever drew this map should be fucking fired and never be allowed to draw a map again. Are you fucking <laughs> joke? Do you see this? In what fucking world does this tell you anything? That's insane. Anyway, sorry. Can you open map number two? <laughs> what do you think? 
I think that this person can draw, but they don't understand the very basics of, like, fucking physical location, which some might say is important for drawing a map! Is, that's what I think, Frappolo. <laughs> Welcome back, Wolf. Okay, now that we took this treasure, we can go back uh, on... We can go on to level 1, actually. There we, we can uh, reach level 7 basement through there. Go on okay. level 1. With, uh, go to the Tower of the Endless from here, which is on the right. <laughs> oh, actually, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go to the past. Go to the... I got another idea. Sorry, sorry. My, my <laughs> I'm, mind so, I'm so upset over those maps that I'm sneezing. <laughs> Okay, go on the door uh, on the left, because there is i uh, I'm gonna show you the... the important bug. Uh, use a torch to skip the first mankin. Mm, I'm gonna- I'm gonna make three torches, just to save us No, only one, only one, only okay. one, because, uh, if, uh, remember, if we find some vases, you can loot more torches gotcha. later. There we go, Juke Master, as always. Now, this is very tricky, this is very tricky. Okay. Uh, keep a short bow. There we go. Uh, travel to the downstairs, like a gold, the way across the corridor. Oof. Yeah, no worries. There is a mankin near the vendor, okay? Shoot him with- shoot her with the- uh, with the bow. Okay, it's not dead, okay? Okay. Perfect, let's go back. Huh. Let's go- no worries, no worries, it's just- uh, no nothing else. It's- it's over. Okay. So we just want to see that mannequin that couldn't die? Uh, yeah, yeah, there is nothing else, absolutely no. Hmm. No, no, no worries, uh, 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 trust me, do you trust me? Um, I, the more you ask me that, the less I do. But I'm a very trusty person, what do you mean? Hmm. Okay, this is gonna take some real- Duckin' and Jukin! There we go, that's my man. Alright, go to the present. Okay. Wait. What the <laughs> fuck? Wait, why? Why did that happen? Why is this guy Be dead? Because for some reason that mannequin triggers the death of the nameless figurine. And you know why I made you do that? Because the nameless figurine, in my opinion, is the worst boss of the dungeon in terms of the fact that he does nothing. He's useless. He also That's has like he, he has like fuck all torso health, doesn't he? Yeah, like, that's the only thing he has. He's boring as hell. He's just literally a, a sponge for damage. That yeah. isn't even funny to fight. Yeah, yeah, no, All right. I'd agree, I'd agree. That's wild. Ah, sorry, I, I just wanted to get, get this out of my chest. Okay, eat something because uh, you're starting to get a little bit uh, hung hungry. And then go back once again into the corridor we just went through. Because there is another enemy we need to defeat. Um, okay. Uh, the corridor on the left. Corridor on the left. Good. There is a Lord of the Flies in the road. You can kill it with a, with an arrow. There we go. That is so insane that you can kill him that easily. And that's not the only enemy we're gonna kill with an arrow, because now I don't know if you ever saw the Gaunt Knight. Oh, yeah, no, I've, I've met the Gaunt Knight before. Whoops. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! <laughs> And that's the gold tonight, everybody! Ah, uh, there he goes! Is Soulstone? Um, nah. Nah, we don't need it. Okay. Devour? Devour it? Why not? Why are we fucking Good. armor and all? Delicious. Yeah, now you can you can keep the, the gold armor on yourself. The arrow mask is uh, temporarily not relevant anymore. You can just unkeep it and just put the, the gaunt best in it. God, the defense is insane. But if now, if, if we have it right, the, that defense does nothing, right? The, de the defense does nothing. But the armors still have elemental protection. And the gaunt armor elemental protection is the highest one at the same level of the penance armor. I guess we'll give him just... the blue sin? Yeah, yeah. Foxkid is gonna manage the blue sin in this moment. Little guy finally gets his time to shine. Good, so we got the good armor, we got the skeletons, we're just missing one skeleton and then we can really start to fight. I'm, I'm, I've been saying this for like uh, ages at this point, uh, but we can really start to fight enemies very soon. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, Ring of Raids on Fox? Withering? Here? Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Just to be sure, don't ever keep boss souls on the skeletons. I was... If the skeleton... 
I was just uh? about to do that. What were you gonna say? Uh, if a skeleton dies, if a, if a party member dies, you cannot get back the stuff they have. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, now uh, go back uh, above, like go all the way back. Did you see the comparison between the Lord of the Flies and Gordon Ramsay, by the way? Oh my god, Jesus, that's so funny. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Alright, go to the past, because uh, as, uh, again, don't travel in Mahabra in the, in the present. Yeah, almost a three hour scene, and we might be ready to fight an enemy. Yes, Hell absolutely. yeah! And do we want to pick okay. up the another skeleton? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the Tower of the Endless to get to the Blood Portal. Cool. From the, uh, with the Tower of the Endless, we go to level 1. And from level 1, we go to level 7. Easy, right? Uh, yes. Yes. No, no worries, there is a reason for which I'm making you do all of these preparations. No, I, I, I get it. And, like, I have learned a lot about... Like, because I would like to tackle the rest of the rest of the S endings at some point, and I think I kind of see how that's possible now. Although things will definitely go wrong, things will definitely, definitely go wrong, <laughs> and I'm excited. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, hello again. That's surprising meeting you in a place like this. Are you following me? Oh, I'm just joking with you. That's what friends do, right? We are not friends. Frap, you've gone suspiciously silent. Hmm? Oh, I see. You're joking as well. But you know, sometimes conflict spreads even between best friends. Oh, maybe I said too much. Let's just pretend you never saw me. I will keep watching from above. Make him proud. Hmm. Hmm. I, I need to Okay, go. so... Yeah, I need to be in the present for the blood portal to be triggered. Um... I've never seen him appear there before, ever. Hmm. You're not, you're not saying a whole lot, Frap. I'm... I'm... What? No, no, it's, it's because I... I, uh, I, I... I am drinking water. Okay, well, look. Like, far be it for me to interrupt another man's hydration, so I'm sorry if I seem suspicious. <laughs> I mean, uh, that, that, that's just Pocket Cat. Uh, like, uh, that's just Pocket Cat. Okay, yeah, but saying that's just Pocket Cat is like saying, well, that's just a nuclear bomb. Uh, that's, why are you worried about that? Okay, yeah, so that's just a nuclear bomb. Uh, yeah, level one. Level one. Okay. By the way, Pocket Cat said some interesting stuff, maybe. Who knows? Okay, uh, go to the torture chamber. Like, uh, go above, basically. Like, uh, you know, all the way above. Oh, you're trying to craft a torch, yeah. Oh, we only have six torches remaining that we can craft. We kind of needed to hurry up, maybe. Okay, cool. Yeah. Like, there are some more bases we can get later on between uh, the Golden Temple, etc. But maybe, yeah, we, we kind of needed to start killing some bosses very soon. Uh, do you have... Uh, uh, how many soul stones and lesser souls do you have? Down... Uh, there we go. Uh, five soul stones and zero lesser soul. Okay. Uh, we didn't get... Uh, we need loving whispers and pheromones. So, uh, can you use a soul stone on the two uh, dark priests here? In case you didn't already use it. Okay. That's one. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's go to the level 7 basement. Then we go back to the hex. And there are some other minor stuff we may take. But whatever. Just force the door. Oh, wait. You have the short bow. Oh shit, yeah, that's probably not gonna do uh, it. No, whatever, they have the Miasma and the Blue Snake. If they don't miss, there is a chance. Hell okay. yeah! Good job, my skeleton <laughs> servants. Good job, Frap. Good job, Foxcade. Did you call me Servant? Uh, no, absolutely not. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I see, I see, yeah. Um, and we won't get any of the boxes in here to preserve torches. Uh, we do, we do. You have zero torches now, no? Um... There it is. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Do you see the torch economy? How well we I, can manage yeah, the torch yeah, economy? Yeah, I see, I see. Okay. Oh, also, in the level 7 basement, we need to do another stuff as well. Okay. There is the second I, requirement. I, I, I really love that little notice. You realize you've delved too deep. I think that's... It's so fucking spooky and weird. I absolutely agree, you have no idea, like, uh, the, also, the whole concept of ending A, if you remember, is uh, you delved too deep to be able to go back, after all. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's such a good ending. So this is the guy we necromance? This is the guy we necromance. So, okay, 
One time I was here and there was someone all curled up on the left. Oh, that, uh, that, that's the... That's uh, Sir Seymour that made love with the uh, Bachman. With who? Okay, Bachman, uh... The, the, the one you save from torture, usually. Oh, weird. Oh, they that's so good. And, uh, and decided to make a marriage for some reason. The reason oh. is not clear, but uh, yeah. Uh, look, if I'm trapped in the fucking dungeon of fear and hunger and things aren't going well and someone's a warm body is there, I'm like, fuck it! Well, what does it matter at this point? <laughs> um, okay, okay. Remind me to never go to a dungeon with you then. Okay, I, I under well, I mean, it would have to be a mutual kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, it's, uh... God damn it! Okay, chat. Look, I, I didn't have to, I haven't had to do this in a while. I am placing a joke ban on the Z thing. It's not funny. No one likes it. Uh, that no clipping it. No anything like that. That anyway. Let's continue. His name's Wooly. We're not ignoring it. Keep Wooly. Wooly, sorry, Wooly, Wooly. Keep Wooly. <laughs> uh, long sword. <laughs> 